Exactly. Like that's right. Oh my the gosh, that's Christmas. so funny. So if you can just, we'll continue. Okay. So. Don't forget to smile. Okay. <laughs> Doing great. Doing great. Welcome. 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 How are you, Deacon? Good. Good to see you. Thanks. Good yeah. morning. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Yeah. Well, I'm feeling um, very supported and absolutely loved. I really do feel that this is going to be a joyful event, and um, it, it's just an amazing ride. I have to say, the diocese here has from beginning to end created a perfect transition, showing uh, Bishop Olmsted the absolute love that he deserves, and uh, then extending that love to me, and I appreciate it. Just that whole sense of hospitality based on love, coming from love, uh, is amazing, and I'm so um, honestly just deeply moved by that. So I feel at home already, and I feel like, you know, 45 minutes from now, um, it's going to be kind of in some ways more of the same because it's just a great family. It's just wonderful. So I'm really looking forward to it. And about a, an hour from now, I guess, then I'll be seated in the chair and then things change. <laughs> so, oh, good. We got all that stuff. Um, yeah, I got a few uh, questions for you. Yeah. Well, it's an incredible thrill. I mean, for me, on multiple levels, as, as a priest, I'm getting a, a new spiritual father to, uh, to shepherd me as a priest. Also, as a Catholic, I'm getting a, my bishop to lead me closer to Jesus and to the church. Um, it's amazing. I'm also the pastor of this place where it's happening, so all the parishioners and the staff and everybody here at this parish, we just feel so blessed that the whole diocese is coming together to welcome our new shepherd. So a lot of joy on multiple levels. What, you know, just what, what a blessing to, um, to say, to welcome a new bishop, it's just an incredible gift from God. So one option, one option was, um, there's a mass for bishop and then, you know, the theme of the, of the love of Jesus. Uh -huh. So one idea is we go most, most sacred heart. These are actually really nice. They're typically, for, there's not a mass for a bishop on this installation, right. but this one is, is on, the, on an, an ordination, but it's very uh -huh. much about like sh presiding over the flock. That's fine. I just, so take a look at this one and see if you like it. I'd, I'll, I'll tweak it with a pencil so it matches. You have to make it first person. So of me as her shepherd. Okay. Uh, but I can pencil that in. But these are really pretty nice. Oh yeah. Because it's, it's I may be a service. Yeah, right, that I may be a service. You know, when it comes to big masses like this, it's really all in God's hands. I mean, my job is to make sure a lot of the details go well. It never goes perfectly, but uh, that's a sign that God's in, in charge. And so um, maybe I've lost a little bit of sleep, um, but uh, not, not too much. I, I really trust um, that, that God is working through this whole process. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. For the beginning, these are my, I'll need this in the very beginning. Very good. So just to go over with you. So we'll get into the sanctuary. And then I begin the mass, right? The usual way, yes. greet the people. And then I'll have people be seated for the reading of the uh, hula? Yes, okay. yes. You could have them be seated after the sign of the cross and the greeting. You have them be seated right away? You could say, please be seated, and then your remarks would happen I'll then? I'll do my remarks. They're just mainly welcoming remarks and uh, wishing everybody good luck with their new bishop. Be good. Which they won't need any luck. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's blessed. <laughs> it's going to be different because I'm leaving San Diego after 60 years. and. Uh, that's all my life, but I'm really getting acclimated to this quickly. Live from St. Thomas Aquinas in Avondale, welcome to this historic celebration of the Mass. Today, Most Reverend John P. Dolan will be installed as the fifth bishop in the 53-year history of the Diocese of Phoenix. So glad you could join us today. I'm Father Rob Clements of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Phoenix, welcoming you to St. Thomas Aquinas Church in Avondale, Arizona.
warmly welcome the fifth bishop of the Phoenix Diocese, Bishop John Dolan, whom I've come to know these past years as a kind, compassionate, and holy man. The transition from the ocean front diocese you have known to a desert diocese, you hear me call it that, will perhaps be a challenging one. But Christ, who taught and worked miracles upon both the water and the desert, will be with you and will surely give you the needed strength for the great mission ahead of you. My friends here and watching on television and live stream, hi mom and dad. <laughs> I'm grateful to stand before you as the fifth bishop of the Diocese of Phoenix as we begin our journey together. And as we reflect on our readings today, may I offer three proposals. Simply be good, be love, and be blessed. Be good, be love, and be blessed. It's a special day, you know, Bishop Olmsted has been here for 18 years and, and now we move into the next chapter with our new bishop and it's a, a day of hope. God's always doing something new and so now when he sat down in the chair, he became our bishop. It's kind of a fun moment, he's holding the crozier, sitting, wearing the mitre and he's our new bishop and so he's our spiritual father and, and uh, we have a father we didn't know we had and, uh, and now we can let him lead us closer to God. We saw the reason why the church didn't end after the death of the apostles. We saw the Holy Spirit passing us, passing our faith on so that the tradition of the church was moved from Bishop Olmsted through the Holy Spirit to Bishop Dolby. Oh, I think the whole celebration was just joyful. The music was amazing. We really have a fantastic, when you gather people of all voices together, it just says an awful lot. The people were singing, praising God, and uh, it was just a joyful, joyful moment. And I was so, well, I'm happy to be a part of it, and in some ways, I guess, the center of it, but really the true center is our God, and if that we were praising God, that was just so awesome to me. So. Congratulations, thank you. I just felt inc incredibly blessed to be here, um, just like seeing the Lord do work through the bishop already, him reminding us today that we're all good and we should rest in our goodness. Um, I can already see the bishop doing so much for the diocese, and to be here with my grandparents is such a joy. <laughs> we loved it too. It was a blessing. It was a blessing to be a part of this. We are members of the Equestrian Order of the Holy Sepulcher, and we've been a part of all the bishops and, that have been installed in our Phoenix Diocese, and there's been five. Of course, he's five, but he's so great already. I love him. You would yeah. be out of town, I'm sure, if this yeah. didn't happen. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks, Grace. Thank, Thank you. I'm full of joy. I absolutely loved um, the homily, his presence, the whole moments that he shared with us to abide in his love. I'm just so full with uh, love and joy after what I saw today. I am thrilled. 